In this video I'm going to tell you quickly how to start shooting movies with the Nikon D3400. So shooting movies with a Nikon D3400 is actually really simple. There's only a couple of steps that you need to do to get started and I'm going to show you how to do them now. So the very first thing we need to do is turn the camera into live view which you can do by pressing the LV button on the back of the camera. Once you've done that you'll see the rear screen showing exactly what you'll be able to see through the viewfinder. What you'll also notice on that rear screen is it gives you quite a good indication of how bright your subject and scene are going to be. You might need to start adjusting some settings to get these at the right levels, unless we are using auto settings in which case it might have done this for you. I'd highly recommend though that you learn how to shoot video in manual mode as you'll get a lot more control over how your video ends up. So to start shooting video all you have to do is press the red record button on the top of the camera. Once you press that the camera will start recording and you'll see the red record icon on the LCD screen. To stop recording all you have to do is press the red button again. Please be aware that you cannot pause videos on DSLR cameras. If you want to do anything like that you have to start it and then stop it again. You then have to join the clips up in post-processing during your editing process. I prefer to shoot videos in manual mode. This gives me a lot more control over how the video ends up. What I would recommend you do is put the camera into manual mode and then set your aperture to the lowest that it can go. This will give you a lot of light into the camera and also give you that nice blurry background look. You'll need to manually set your shutter speed as well. If you're shooting at 24 frames per second then I recommend you use a shutter speed of about 1 60th of a second. If you're shooting at 60 frames a second then I'd recommend something like 1 1 2 5th of a second. You may find that your video is still a little bit dark if you don't have enough light in which case you can raise the ISO to get your exposure looking good and your videos looking clean and crisp. The important point of video is the focusing. Now unfortunately Nikon DSLRs aren't all that good at auto focusing. If you press the I button when you're in live view and then scroll down to the first icon on the second line you'll be able to see your different focusing options. You'll see that you have AFS, AFF and MF. AFS is single point focusing. With this you'd pick your subject and frame your shot, you'd half press the shutter button to lock focus and then it will stay focused on that point no matter what. I use this option most of the time and I recommend that you get used to using it too. AFF is full time servo focusing or continuous focusing. Now this might sound like it's the best mode to use but it's really not. You'll soon realise that the camera is always trying to focus on something and your videos will get this really annoying slightly out of focus, in focus, out of focus, in focus kind of jittering going on. This is the lens constantly moving backwards and forwards trying to focus. What you'll also notice is you'll be able to hear that lens moving in your video if you're using the onboard microphones. It's really annoying and it's not really very good at all. I wouldn't recommend using this mode unless you absolutely have to. The third option we have is MF which is of course manual focusing. So you just use the manual focus ring on the lens to manually focus on the subject and of course that focus will be locked until you move the focus ring again. This is a good one to use if you're shooting something where you can constantly look at the screen. However if you're trying to shoot yourself like I'm doing here that's quite difficult to get right because obviously you can't focus on yourself all that easily when you're in front of the camera. What I tend to do when I'm shooting videos like this is put it in AFS I'll then have the camera just within arm's reach and I will half press the shutter button and focus on my face and then I try not to move backwards or forwards too much so I try and stay in focus. It doesn't always work and it's not the best option but with Nikon DSLRs really it's the only way you can do it. If you do want to use AFF then there's some more options you can choose in the menu to help you. If you press the I button again and scroll down to the bottom row and then go across one you'll see you've got several different area focus modes. The first one we have is face priority AF. What this will do it will try and track faces in the scene and keep them in focus. Bearing in mind it's not all that accurate and you will get that backwards and forwards jittering focus that I mentioned just now. The second option is wide area AF. What this will do it will track anything that comes into the frame within a wide area across the centre of the frame. This could be people, dogs, cats, anything that comes into that frame the camera will try and focus on. So again you'll get that jittering backwards and forwards trying to focus kind of look. The next one is normal area AF. This is the same as wide area. It just uses a smaller portion of the centre of the frame 
to try and find focus. And lastly, we have subject tracking focus. What this will do, it will find a subject, lock onto that and track it across the entire frame. Again, you'll get the dreaded backwards and forwards jittery focus thing, and this looks awful. This is why I highly recommend that you use either manual focus or AFS. It doesn't matter what mode you have the area mode in if you're using AFS. You can just leave it in face priority if you want, or wide area. It doesn't really matter as long as you know what you're focusing on. You can select it in the camera by using the D-pad and moving the red box around the screen. Once that red box is over the area that you want in focus, half press the shutter button, you should hear the beep, and that area will be in focus until you refocus the shot yourself. Unfortunately, the D3400 doesn't have an external microphone port, so you're stuck with the microphone that's on the camera. This isn't all that good, and I really recommend that you try and record your audio on something else externally, and then sync it up in editing afterwards. You'll get a much better sound, and you won't get that annoying focus noise if you do decide to use AFF focusing. That's pretty much all there is to shooting video with the Nikon D3400. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And also go check out my vlog channel, Vlogtoics. I'll leave a link in the description box below. There you better see behind the scenes looks at the videos, get sneak peeks at all the gear that I'm about to use and review, and also see what I get up to when I'm not shooting videos. Thanks very much guys, and I'll see you all next time.